Welcome to CNBC Special. My name is Gulmini Sethi. Uh, today I'm talking to Mr. Declan Byrne, who's the president of the WiMAX Forum. Uh, the WiMAX Forum is the global uh, body for the approving standards of WiMAX. I'm not quite sure what that means yet, but we're going to ask Declan. Declan is in Pakistan, um, also for the South Asia Conference. We're going to find out a little bit more about that as well. Thank you for talking to us today, Declan. My pleasure. It's good to be with you. So, first of all, like I said, what, the, the obvious question, what is WiMAX? Well, sure. WiMAX is a broadband internet technology. Okay. It's a radio technology. Um, many of your viewers would be familiar, of course, with cellular technologies, mobile phones, etc. Broadband, uh, WiMAX delivers broadband speeds over a wireless link to consumers, okay. to businesses, to industry. So it's, um, it's, it's experienced broad take up in Pakistan, surely, that's why we're here, but also across the world. Okay, I'm sorry to sound like a complete layman, but mm. if, if I understand correctly, uh, WiMAX technology takes broadband level internet mm -hmm. and it delivers it to the consumers without the actual wires. Exactly it's right. It's wireless technology, but it's as good as, a broad, as broadband. As good, if not better. If, okay, if Indeed. not better. Yeah, right. yeah it's actually portable, okay. uh, it's mobile, it can be. Right. Um, and the speeds that are delivered, depending on the network that's built, okay. uh, will exceed DSL in many instances. Right. Okay. So you had the WiMAX Forum, mm -hmm. which uh, is the global body that yep. sort of sets the standards and That's right. all of that for WiMAX technology. What I mean, I understand basically what your function is, but could you give us a little sure, sure, bit my about pleasure. that as well? So the WiMAX Forum is an industry trade group. We have about 175 mm -hmm. member companies. Uh, they are both service providers right. as well as e equipment supply manufacturing companies, okay. as well as government and academia, etc. We are an international association. We're headquartered right. in okay. San Diego, California. Okay. Uh, we're a small organization, about 20 staff worldwide. Right. Um, we try to position our staff both in the U.S. as well as abroad where markets exist. So in Taipei, in Moscow, in New Delhi, right. and other places we have representatives. Uh, I head that organization. My mandate is really to evangelize for the technology, right. to speak for operators, to intercede where that makes sense with regulators so that a suitable radio frequency spectrum is allocated, and to really bring together the operators and the suppliers to okay. talk about best practices so right. they can all so, learn from each other. And so how is that going then? I mean, you've been speaking out for the technology. Sure. You have people all across the world. How is that going? Is It seems to be catching on globally. This is something you're very excited about. Well, we're very, very excited and we're very committed to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's going well. I mean, okay. times change, right. clearly. Um, in terms of the WiMAX subscriber base worth worldwide, which is a, a useful metric in terms right, of measuring yeah. our own success, mm -hmm. I'll tell you we ended 2010 with about 13 or 14 million users okay, of the technology. Right. We ended 2011 with 25 million. So you nearly so doubled. We nearly, yeah, exactly right. And, and okay. we're probably at about 30 million users right now. Okay. Um, those are predominantly coming from North America, right. um, the United States, Mexico, Canada but also Korea, uh, Malaysia, Japan, a lot of developing markets. Right. But I think the important thing, and, and the reason I'm in Pakistan, mm. is I think our future growth will mm. really come from emerging markets, okay. where there's not a good wireline copper right. infrastructure to deliver broadband, which you know, people manifestly want, whether it's a consumer or a business. And so we're seeing really innovative operators uh, in Pakistan and other places right. deploy WiMAX quickly as a radio technology to meet a real a real demand for broadband in the market. Okay, so I, I think I'm speaking for the consumer today mm. because as somebody that doesn't really know a mm -hmm. lot about it, um, my questions might seem to you a bit basic. It's okay. But, I'm not um, an engineer, so right, uh, I'm but, good with basic questions. So what I want to know also is, I mean, it's I think the perception here in mm. Pakistan is that maybe wireless technology is more expensive now. Mm. I don't know to what extent that might be true, but what do consumers in Pakistan have to look forward to or to be excited about in terms of WiMAX sure. technology? Sure. Well, let me begin by saying that there are about a half a million broadband, WiMAX broadband users in Pakistan. Already? Already. So okay. almost one in three, I think it's 29% all right. so, yeah. of all broadband users in, in Pakistan are using WiMAX. They may not even know it's WiMAX, but they're yes, using precisely. WiMAX. And, and, right. and that's good, actually. Okay. Consumers don't really care what technology what they're using called. to, or what it's called, they won't even know. Um, right. uh, what a consumer wants is a stable broadband experience Absolutely. at the right price. Yes. And what my industry has done, you know, we're 10 years old now. Okay. And what we've tried to do is, is through several iterations and, 
and uh, design improvements in the, in the network and the devices continually drive down cost to a right. point where consumers, okay. whether it's in a Pakistani context, a, Bang a Bengali context, or, or a North American America. context, can get the right device, the right modem in their house to meet their needs, right, for consumer broadband access. And, and that's different things in different places. In right. North America, it's a smartphone. Uh, you okay. know, uh, from HTC or Samsung or what have you, right? Which is all sorts of things, again, invisible to the consumer right, over, a, right, over yeah. a WiMAX link. In Pakistan, generally, it's a fixed connection yes. to a home or a small business. Right. It would be a small, very modestly sized modem uh, attached to a laptop or a, or a desktop PC. Uh, and again, that, that modem then is wirelessly communicating to a base station a couple of miles away. Um, it's helpful to think of WiMAX is sort of Wi-Fi, but at, at very great distance, right? Okay. So it, it, it delivers a superior to Wi-Fi, but a broadband connection like users would, the would quality, know. The quality, right, of course. Um, but from an operator standpoint, there's a lot less infrastructure required okay. than, say, Wi-Fi. So, so we think it's a nice match of both device cost and network cost. Okay, so you're a, finding something in the middle that gives that's right. the consumers the best possible option. And delivers, importantly, to operators right. a good return on their investment. Right, obviously, because, I mean, there's no, nobody's going to invest that's in these right. businesses unless they feel that they're going to get something For out sure. of it. For sure. So th that brings me to another question. What, what should these operators in Pakistan that want to deploy WiMAX technologies, what should they do to be more uh, sort of profitable, and what should they do to try to get the most number sure. of uh, sure. consumers? Sure, sure, sure. Um, there's a lot of innovation happening, and some of it in Pakistan, actually. Okay. I'm very really? excited. Yeah, I'm very excited about the complementarity of Wi-Fi and WiMAX. Right. I'll tell you why. WiMAX is proven as a very uh, cost-effective means to deliver broadband to a consumer. I'm a consumer as well, so right, I appreciate. Yeah, you know, I want to spend my money in a way that's useful for my family, and when I work at home, and and WiMAX is a super way to get a multiple megabit connection into my home. But I also move around in my home. Right, yeah. Right? I move outside my home to my balcony. And Wi Fi, as a connection, as a sort of an in home uh, connection to the mm -hmm. Wi Fi link, mm -hmm. to the WiMAX link rather, is a super way to give mobility within my, uh, my broad your, home context. Right. And the advantage about Wi Fi is that it's in everything. Wi Fi is the most successful radio technology to have ever existed. And it, that it works on all sorts of devices. It's in every it smartphone, every phone, it's in every, every laptop. Yeah. And so, whereas WiMAX may not be, quite frankly. Right. But WiMAX provides, you know, in lieu of copper or a okay. wireline yes. or a fiber, which is very expensive and time consuming, and time -consuming. for an operator to deploy, um, WiMAX provides that sort of critical, really quick uh, last mile connection. So, I'm very excited about what I'm seeing. I'll give you an example. In okay. Taiwan, uh, one of our operators, Global Mobile, they have a WiMAX network covering Taipei. Okay. And they've put this Wi Fi service as an adjunct to the WiMAX service, and they've added something like three or 400,000 users in the space of a year. Okay. And so it's very, very right. exciting, the ability as a force multiplier on the technology to meet the needs of a broadband-hungry populace, right. but to do it in a cost-effective okay. way. And so Pakistan, of course, is a broadband-hungry populace. Absolutely. Right here, sitting, waiting to be happened. That's right. How does this um, sort of tie in with uh, the growth that we've seen and I know this may be slightly off track, but mm. in the telecommunications sure. sector, because obviously WiMAX technology is used on yeah. uh, mobile phones. Do you think that's something exciting uh, to look out for in Pakistan? Is for sure. I mean, I was just at a lunch and we were talking about, you know, the fixed line infrastructure in Pakistan, right. which, you know, in, in many emerging economies is quite poor. And the number of fixed line connections has, has actually decreased over okay, time. It right. was 5 million 10 years ago, it's something on the order of 3 or 4 million now. What we've seen in parallel is this explosive growth in GSM and mobile phone connections. Yes, I understand there's right. something on the order of 60 or 70 million mobile connections in yes, Pakistan yes, now. That's what we hear. Um, and, and certainly if, I think China has just passed a billion mobile phone connections. And this is all in about 10 or 15 years time. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It so I think the next uh, growth area, well, or even a concurrent growth area, is the demand for broadband. Okay. You know, mobile mm -hmm. gives you the ability to hand. taste the internet, to taste yes. the world, and to begin to experience what your neighbors and your community, which is really a global community, is thinking about. And, but broadband really delivers that experience. Um, you know, there's a truism in the broadband business that, you know, uh, sort of demand, the, the demand will fill the pipe. 
if you right. will, right? And one thing we've seen, particularly among societies like in Pakistan, very young, highly educated, curious, right. innovative, yes. right? They want to know about the outside world. And mobile. They want to and know about mobile, themselves, yes. their neighbors, their government, the outside world. And, and broadband delivers that experience. And WiMAX is proving, again, in economies like Pakistan, to be a superlative solution to match that demand with an operator's ROI and desire to, to, to meet the demand. Okay, we're, we're talking to Mr. Declan Byrne. Uh, we're going to take a break right now, but when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the South Asia conference that's happening here in Pakistan and why that's important. Stay with us. <laughs> We're talking to Mr. Declan Byrne, the president of the WiMAX Forum. Um, like I said earlier, he's here in Pakistan for the South Asia Conference of 2012. Let's find out a little bit more about that. So, Declan, you're here for the South Asia Conference, as we mentioned. What is it? Tell us a little bit about it, and why is it so exciting? Well, it's exciting because as we think about the growth of the technology for which I advocate, WiMAX, it's really beginning to happen in emerging economies, uh, more than developed economies, quite okay. frankly. And the real exciting innovation that's occurring is in places like Pakistan. And it's high time we've come to Pakistan, quite frankly. Okay. <laughs> um, there are four WiMAX operators in Pakistan. They're all quite successful. Right. I think I mentioned to you that you know, almost one in three broadband connections in this is country WiMAX. are enabled over WiMAX. Right. That's a success rate and a penetration rate for this technology that's nowhere else seen oh, in the world. you guys are just getting here. So, all yeah, right. you know, uh, well, we've been here right. a few years, Good but show. the forum, my mm -hmm. organization, is, uh, has finally uh, come, and, and okay. that's made manifest by my presence and our desire to salute the operators in the region, uh, bring the supply community to get together with them so they can talk about you know, vendor-operator relationships, best practices between the operators. Right. Uh, we have over 150 registrants. Okay. Uh, for our right. event, uh, so we think it's a very successful international uh, conference. Right, they're from across South Asia. Many, they're many across places. South Asia, so uh, you know, I have an office in New Delhi with a regional director who is really focused on you know, Sri Lanka, India, okay. Pakistan, Afghanistan. Uh, we have an operator from Iraq, oh, a new wow. operator okay. from Sulmania coming down right. because they understand that there's a lot of innovation and excitement and growth going on, and they're about to launch in four cities. Okay, and they really want to exciting. learn from their, uh, from their colleagues right. in the business. And we, this sort of event gives them a great opportunity to do so. Okay, so wait, so when you were coming to Pakistan, and I mean this is a question that I, this is important because the security situation mm. is obviously uncertain. There are a number of problems. Did that factor in at all when before you decided to come into Pakistan? Or is it just so exciting? Uh, as an American, to, uh, have I'll have to tell you mm. that um, it was with some pause that I considered hosting an event in Islamabad. Right, um, certainly. You know, we, we watch the news and we read the papers, and I had a certain impression in my mind before okay. coming to your beautiful country. I got here on Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. I felt completely secure. All right, uh, that's the, good the to know. The comments I've made to my Pakistani colleagues is I expected a much more sort of high security environment, and okay. I have not seen that. All right. I felt very at ease. I, I was wandering through Islamabad yesterday, uh, much to my delight. I visited a local, some of the many local shops. Okay. I, had, I had a meal out. I had a suit made for myself. Oh, lovely. So I've been, I've been very, very happy. I felt very much at ease. So you're enjoying your stay in very Pakistan? Very much so. I, this is I not the last time I'll be in Pakistan, we're I assure you. We're very glad to hear that. So, all right. So how does Pakistan compare um, in terms of, you were talking about the competitive uh, sort of participants from mm -hmm. across South Asia. Sure. You mentioned India and Bangladesh. Mm. How does Pakistan rank amongst its South Asian peers? Um, I think it's innovative. Okay. It's highly competitive. All right. What's interesting in Pakistan is that you have four WiMAX operators okay. competing voraciously uh, right. to satisfy the demands of the consumer marketplace. Now, that, that presents challenges, obviously. There's a limited amount of capital. Mm -hmm. um, the winners shall survive, clearly. Okay. Uh, but for now, that's healthy. It's, it's good for the consumer, quite frankly. It's great for the consumer. It's delivering broadband right. at the lowest possible cost. Um, so I, I would describe Pakistan as highly innovative, perhaps more competitive than other markets. Okay. But I'll tell you, even, uh, even in Bangladesh, there mm -hmm. are two very successful uh, WiMAX operators. In India, there is WiMAX, uh, mm -hmm. Sri Lanka, Afghanistan. Uh, if you go to any of the uh, Tajikistan, et cetera, in the area, okay. there's quite a bit of WiMAX. So in a sense, Pakistan is similar. Okay. But um, it's probably more competitive 
that, than that's other places. Interesting. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is good for the consumer again. That, that's similar to what we saw in the telecommunications, mm. the, the mobile phone industry. I'm sure. It's, they're so com very, very, very competitive. I mean, you'd see um, them drop, the, one service provider drop their prices yeah. one day and then the next day, like they all had to do that. And we understand why. I mean, you have mm -hmm. 180 million yeah. potential purchasers yes, in this country. Uh, even on the mobile mm -hmm. phone side, there's only 65% penetration. Yeah. So there's okay. a lot of room yet for growth. Certainly. What sort of support are you getting from the government? Are, oh. are, are they being helpful to you? Anything? Very, very welcoming. Right. Uh, I'm delighted to uh, inform you that okay. uh, the chairman of the Pakistan Telecom Authority is mm -hmm. uh, opening our conference tomorrow. Um, I'm looking very much forward to hearing what he has to say. He'll talk okay. about sort of broadband policy. Mm -hmm. And I think he'll learn as well uh, from I, his interactions absolutely. here. So. And okay, so I also want to know what sort of things will you be talking about at the conference, which sure. I believe begins uh, tomorrow. Yes. And yes. you know, there's going to be, as you mentioned, the chairman of the Pakistan mm -hmm. Telecommunication Authority is going to be there. Yes. What sort of issues are going to be on the table? Well, we begin after the chairman of PTA with an executive roundtable mm -hmm. with the CEOs a number of a okay. number of the WiMAX operators. And one of the questions I'll be asking them, and I don't know the answer to this. Mm -hmm. 3G will come to Pakistan yes, we'll eventually, be uh, probably sometime in 2012. It'll mm -hmm. begin. And that will, I think, that will present a challenge and an opportunity to right. WiMAX operators. And I've seen this in other markets. WiMAX operators that choose to fight 3G okay. generally lose. All right. And they need to find a way forward to because there is a complementarity. Okay, there why, is. What WiMAX is superlative at doing is delivering data. Right. 3G is good at voice yes, and what I okay. call light data. Right. So there's probably a way forward where they can cooperate. We're, and right, and I hope to stimulate face. that sort of dialogue and, and, and perhaps uh, I might suggest you educate the community here about what's going on in other places uh, that might be adopted. As well, I, wanna, I really want to challenge the operators in the region to cooperate. Okay. Can they cooperate right. in terms of roaming, in terms mm -hmm. of aggregating their demand uh, for common benefit? And so um, I think we'll... I think I can't tell you what's going to happen at the conference, but mm -hmm. I think it'll be very interesting. Right. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, one of the last questions we're getting towards the end of the yeah. interview is, um, what would you say, I mean, you're obviously going to be meeting with some of the operators tomorrow, mm -hmm. and the, like you said, there's a lot of things that are going to come up. What is the single biggest challenge that you think they face in Pakistan today? Like, you know, the one thing that they need to make better on? Well, I don't think it has anything to do with actually their business execution. I think okay. the biggest challenge operators face is access to capital. Right, and, and that's and a problem. And a lot of this has to do with, with nothing to do with technology. Mm -hmm. It has to do with what's happened in the world with since the 2008, Pakistan, 2009, yes. with security, as with you security, mentioned. Um, with confusion among the investor marketplace about the future of technology, about broadband technology. And um, I think what delivers clarity to the investment marketplace is success. Right, And so Obviously. when you see operators uh, like Y Tribe, like QB, like mm -hmm. Watin, mm -hmm. uh, which is helping endorse this conference, and we're delighted to have their support. Uh, when you see them have success and go from zero to 300,000 subscribers mm -hmm. in the space the of two years, Absolutely. investors start to get it, mm -hmm. and that uh, uh, you know money follows success. So um, that's a challenge that doesn't is not unique to Pakistan, of course, but. Okay. Um, Right. I hope that this conference begins to deliver that clarity to the investment marketplace. Okay, so, um, right. Well, the last question, yeah. sir. Before I, I thought that was the last question. No, no, I have a couple <laughs> more. Just a couple more questions. Yeah. I, I want to know, before I ask you to give us a, a message for mm. uh, the, the operators or the consumers or investors to come to Pakistan, what I do want to know, I mean, technology uh, progresses very, very fast. Yeah. We see things that are, you know, the, the height of technology today and they're obsolete yep. the next day. Yeah. Is that something that could happen with WiMAX technology, or is this only something that's going to evolve and grow further? Yeah, is this the yeah. way forward, or could we see uh, something new coming up in the next couple of years? Well, it is happening with WiMAX right. technology, and, and as you say, all technologies, mm -hmm. the, the pace of technical evolution. Yes, it's um, astounding. It, you, uh, you can't even track it anymore. And that presents challenges, mm -hmm. uh, particularly to, to the supplier community, right, which yeah. is trying to sell, you know, they invest billions of dollars of research and development. These they want some sort of return. Yeah. By the time they're ready to sell what they have developed, the operator community wants the next thing. And right. um, so that certainly is a challenge. Again, it's wonderful for consumers. It's great for it's consumers. It's wonderful for consumers. Get, absolutely. Um, but it presents challenges for operators and the supply community. Um, I think how that is solved is delivering a steady 
reliable experience, setting okay. the expectation among the consumer correctly. Right. Uh, in terms of you know what they can experience in their home and in the in the broader uh, market, um, working closely with suppliers, and we hope this sort of event allows that sort of clear-headed thinking, mm -hmm. supplier to operator, which will translate to the consumer ultimately. And I think this show okay. uh, helps educate mm -hmm. uh, buyers of the product, if you will. And so we're hopeful that, that that's the outcome. All right. So well, um, you said you seem to have had a good time in Pakistan so, so far. far. We wish you the best up Thank ahead, you. and we hope your conference is very successful. Just as we leave, uh, what message would you like to give to anybody that's interested in uh, seeing YMAX grow in Pakistan? And, and what should they do? How, how to get in touch with you guys if sure. they need help? Sure, sure. You know. Well, they're certainly uh, able to get in touch with us. We right. are the YMAXforum.org. We're not Just for Google profit. It. Just Google it and you'll find us. That's right. Um, there, are, there are four YMAX operators in Pakistan. Um, it's an avid, it's an exciting marketplace. I think, I guess the message I would deliver to your consumer or mm -hmm. business audience is if, you're, if you've been looking for a broadband connection to experience the world, to improve the metrics of your business, it exists in Pakistan. That's the news. Um, you know, find a WiMAX operator, whether it's one of the ones I mentioned. Or um, something new that might come that's up. That's right, exactly. Right. And uh, don't be focused on the technology. Okay. Demand a good broadband connection because the operators are here to give it to you. All right. So basically, it's all about the consumers at the end of the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. It always is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. Stephen. My pleasure. Uh, well, I hope uh, we all know a little bit more about WiMAX technology and how it works after this uh, conversation of ours with Mr. Byrne. Uh, we hope their conference goes well. Uh, uh, look for it in the news, and if you really want to get in touch with these guys, it's uh, WiMAXforum.org. You can Google them. Thank you for watching. Thank you.